Now you may think this an obvious point, but don't forget that tablets have web browsers on them and you can use web browsers assuming that you have decent Wi-Fi coverage within your teaching session to provide access to a whole host of resources and that might be different websites, it might be um, uh, infographics or, or resources that you ask students to search for or it could be something that you've pre-prepared. In this example, I'm going to demonstrate a use of Google Maps to provide more context to a particular case study. Now, this example comes from Housing Policy, a module run by Dr. Stuart Lowe in the department. And for this, we created a Google Map that added photos and contextual information, for example, from news articles about the uh, housing developments that took place in Newcastle. So just using the web browser on your tablet, you can go to Google Maps and if you go to My Places, you can then load up a, a pre-prepared map here. Now, uh, this map here has got zonal areas that I've, I've just created using the tools available and it's got um, little pop-up boxes that link out to different news stories and as I mentioned before, photos that we've embedded onto the map itself. Basically, this is just to say, don't forget to use the web browser within your device and utilize all the tools that are available on the web. The one thing you do have to watch out for though, is that the web browsers on tablets will not be Flash compatible. Now, Flash is a type of software, type of technology that um, some websites require in order to work. One example is Prezi. Prezi does require a flash player within the tablet and unfortunately they're not the easiest things to get on. So it's like you'll need to test the websites and web tools you want to use on the tablets before you actually deploy them in the class. But you will need to remember to create a very defined activity. It's no good really just giving the tablets out in class and expecting the students just to use the internet to find information. You need to focus their attention by specifying the clear learning objective. What is the point of the learning activity you're getting them to do? And really make it clear the output that you're expecting from them. If you're expecting them to feed back a list of all the websites, well, you know, they, maybe they should be putting that into a Google document or if you're expecting them to compare a couple of resources or use a web tool in a particular way, define what it is you want from them at the end of the period of activity.